Who's ready for the Batman? This guy. My Dave Morris, <laughs> your husband's Morris. ready too? Oh yeah, The Dark Knight Rises has been all he's talking, uh, has been talking about for the last uh, six months. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he, he's so pumped. And it is going to be good. We already have our tickets, do you? No, no. I don't know that I'll see it this weekend just because of the, it's gonna be the crazy. rush. I know. <laughs> but it comes out tonight. I know it. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it is Thursday, July 19th, 2012. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to kind of give you a recap of what we have on newsok.com today for you. A man was found dead in a house that caught fire in northwest Oklahoma City overnight. The, ho the house, the home, was near northwest 20th and Pennsylvania Avenue. A neighbor woke up early Thursday morning and saw the flames and she immediately called 911. I woke up because of the heat. I felt it at my house two doors away, and I looked out, saw a fire, ran outside, called 911. Uh, really great uh, lady named Annette Carter from the Edmond Hospital. Uh, pounded on everybody's doors, trying to get everybody up. Fire crews do not believe the fire was suspicious, but they're still searching for a cause. A new attorney for Jerome Ersland said he believes the former pharmacist may suffer from Asperger syndrome. The syndrome is a developmental disorder similar to high function autism. Ersland is serving a life sentence for killing a wounded robber inside the Reliable Discount Pharmacy in May 2009. The attorney, Doug Friesen, says the mental disorder affected Ersland's judgment during the attempted robbery. Oklahoma County District Attorney David Prater said the issue was explored by Ersland's trial attorneys. Friesen is working on Ersland's appeal and has until August 8th to file a brief with the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. Very hot conditions will continue today in Oklahoma with highs in the 100s across most of the state. A few showers and thunderstorms could affect parts of the north central and central Oklahoma areas, mainly along I-35 and north of I-40. Dry and hot conditions will continue through the weekend and into early next week. An excessive heat warning has been issued for Tulsa County. A warning will be in effect from 1 this afternoon until 9 p.m. on Friday. Officials with the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture, Food and Forestry had to remove flocks of birds from the Oklahoma City National Memorial. The swarms of purple martins usually move through the state during the winter and spring migrations. This year, they decided to make homes in the trees at the memorial, but their waste matter is hard to clean and can be damaging. That we wanted to move them with the least impacts possible. We wanted to use a, a lower impact uh, so that it would not be, uh, be so hard on the birds and not be uh, hard on the guests to the memorial. A flurry of activity is taking place in Film Road. The downtown area was once dismissed as a no man's land. The Oklahoma Steve Blackmire visited with local developers about the recent resurgence. Yeah, Film Road here that we're working on we call the sliver, uh, largely because it is that existing sliver of a building. Uh, fortunately for us, it's the only non-historic building on the uh, block. So that allows us a lot of uh, creative flexibility and freedom to uh, develop the concept that we have currently. Clemson has canceled its football series with Oklahoma State. The Tigers and the Cowboys were set to play a home and home series in 2019 and 2020. However, the ACC's move to a nine game conference schedule caused Clemson to drop the future games. Five OU football players and four athletes from OSU were named to the preseason All Big 12 team. We're talking Kenny Stills, Gabe Eichard, Ben Habron, Jamarcus McFarland, and Tony Jefferson representing the Sooners, while Joseph Randall, Lane Taylor, Broderick Brown, and Quinn Shero will represent the Pokes. Very cool. Talking football already. We're like a couple weeks away from August. Are you kidding me? They started talking football two months ago. <laughs> and there'll be more practice in August, and the course will be all over that. Oh, There's yeah. That yeah, definitely. Our sports reporters definitely are all over the OU and OSU and all the high school football. I mean, anything and everything you could ever want football, they'll be all over it. <laughs> so back to the tickets. You guys going to the midnight showing or no. over the weekend? No, or? we're going on Sunday on a matinee, but we have to see it at the IMAX, according to my husband. So we're seeing it at the IMAX. Well, I read a lot of reviews and you can read George Lang's review from yes. the Oklahoma and he has a lengthy well big worded review which only George talks in those terms <laughs> and you're like how did you come up with that word that makes sense that's that's why he's a writer he's a, he's a, a deep <laughs> meaning there gave it a good review Very nice. but they all say go see on the IMAX it's the best yep. experience and that's what we're doing so well, I am excited I think it'll be fun and and we've been prepared I mean we've been preparing we've been watching the first and the second one over and over doing your homework over. All right. so we are ready <laughs> you can catch that trailer online it is okay as well all right you guys make it a great Thursday see ya